This is where my life The first thing we're going to start off with is our preprocessor directive. That is the norm. So I have, I have my div C. Alright, so after my preprocessor directive, I am going to move on to the main function, which is in main, followed by the null brackets. The main is spelled correctly. Then we're going to have our parentheses. Alright, so once it is that you're creating a file, the first thing that you want to create, and this is when you're creating text files. So first thing we're going to do is that we're going to declare our file pointer. How is it that we do that? We use the word file. Followed by a asterisk. And a letter of your choice. Now the letter is what you're going to use as reference for your file. So you can use F. Most most examples that you will see will have F in there, but you don't have to use F. You can use any letter that you or a word. So I'm going to use S for me. And that is going to be followed by or semicolon. So after which you would have your return zero semicolon to close and that now would be your file pointer declaration and remember that we are creating text file let me put this at the top all right so after it is that you have created your file you are going to want to now open a file that is also pretty easy so we use the same letter that we have as our pointer at the top so that's the first thing you're going to have and please remember that it is case sensitive so if you have an uppercase and uppercase letter you're going to continue with that so you're going to have your file pointer followed by the equal sign and the word f open f open is basically telling the telling the system to open the file function and the f open function has two parameters so you're going to state the name of your file so i'm going to have um let's say a list whatever name you want to give it followed by the dot and the extension for the file which can be a text file a word file whatever it may be so if you're using text it's going to be txt if it's going to be a word document it would be doc comma and we did have our open modes 
so that will follow so you're going to have the name of your file with its extension followed by the open mode so i'm going to use w here and the w must be in quotation and it's lowercase So let's save this. And I'm going to save it in documents as files. All right, so let's run. So let's check for errors. F open. List was not declared. And, oh. All right, so it says this was not declared in this scope. Oh, so this should have been in quotation, guys. All right, so let's run that again. Ah, there it is. All right, so let's run it. All right, so I'm going to check my documents now to see if I have that file there. So I should have a file by the name of list. Let me check. All right, and here it is at the bottom. If you open it, it's going to be a, well, my text file is open in Word. But if you have like Notepad, it would open in Notepad or you can select it to open in Notepad. So here's my list file and it is blank. All right, let me close that now. All right, so that is opening. So we won. The first thing we did is that we declared our file pointer, which is S. And as I said before, you can use any letter that you want or word. This now is what we're going to use when we're referring to the file itself. Here is to open a file. So we will have the same file pointer that you had at the beginning, the equal sign followed by the f open function the f open function has two parameters which is the name of your file which must be in quotation and your open mode so we're telling it w signifies that you want to open a new document all right so that was that part so let's move on so let's now add some data to our file so the first thing you're going to use, are you going to use the fprintf because this is a text file. So we use the fprintf, which signifies that we are going to use the printf function, which we know is the output, but we want this to output now in the file. Hence, we have the f. So we have fprintf, open bracket. The first thing you put is your file pointer, which is s, followed by whatever text you want to be displayed in your file. So I'm going to have hello, my lovely subscribers. And because some people view and don't want to subscribe, you know, I have to tell them hi, my lovely subscribers or viewers. Mm. All right, and this must end now with a semicolon. So let's compile checking for errors there is none all right so let's run it all right so let's go back to my documents because i closed the file and open my list right, let's maximize that there you have it hello my lovely subscribers or viewers all right so that is all putting text and we're using the fprintf function all right so moving on to the next aspect which is also very important is our fclose command so the fclose command now is used basically to close our file so we use fclose the fclose function carries one parameter and that's your file pointer so let's put the file pointer there which is s followed by or semicolon so let's compile and run so this is basically saying that we're finished with the file itself 
All right, so after it is that you have done this, now let's say you would have carried out, so you declare your file pointer, open your file, and you add text to it. If it is that you don't have your F close, your this might not, might, might not be printed to your file. So you always want to have your F close. Good. All right, so how do we read from a file now? Once it is that we're reading, we're going to use the, the F gets. F gets is similar to your gets, it's just that the F would signify that you're getting it from a file. All right, so let us clear this to see how is it that we read from the file. All right, so you're still going to have your file pointer. Now to get the text from the file, you have to declare a character buffer. Now, what is this? Your buffer is basically a temporary storage area. And we have to declare that so that we can get this string in. Remember that C doesn't have a string data type. So basically, once it is that you're accepting string, you would have to declare that as an array. So that's the first thing that you're going to do once it is that you're going to get the data from the file. So you're going to have char. And you're going to have buff. Use the word buff followed by the array size. And you can use any random figure basically that you know the size of the file, maybe. Um, you can use 100, you can use 150, but it's best to set it at a high figure so that you're sure to return the value because it's going to count the space, commas, whatever it is that you have in there as a character. So after that now, you're going to have your file pointer, which is S, followed by your equal sign, and you're going to have the file open um, function. Remember, for the file open function, we need two parameters. I want it to open my list, and that must be in quotation. So that's list.txt, comma, followed by my open mode. Now my open mode is not going to be W because I'm not writing to the file. I want to read from the file. So I'm going to have instead R. All right. So after that, you have your gets function, your F gets. And in our F gets, we're going to have three parameters. We're going to have the character array that we declared here which is buff followed by the size of function now the size of function basically tells you the size of the data that you are accepting so what I want the size of is buff right here followed by a comma and then my file pointer which is s so I have the character array that I declared here, the size of function you must have the size of. So basically you're getting the data and with the data you have to get the size of it. And then my file pointer. Good. Then now we're going to have our F close. And we said that the F close is a must. Otherwise the possibility of your the other operations working is limited so after this now because i want this to output now in this um compiler because this now this part here is opening the file and telling what we want to do with it here now we're telling the system what we get what what we want to get from the file but we are yet to put our regular output statement here which is our regular printf to output it to the screen when we compile Alright, so you're going to have, first thing, in quotation, you're going to have your percentage sign S. S is for a string, followed by your comma, my outside, and my array that I have at the top here, which is buff. Semicolon, or return zero which is to close our function and then let's 
compile. Alright, let's run it. So here you have it. So what I have in my file is hello my lovely subscribers or viewers. And that is your text file. And that's it. So we looked on F open, F close, F gets. We looked on how it is that we declared our pointer. We'll use the new function which is buff and we said that bu a buffer is a temporary storage um, that is used to input or output data in or in programming the size of so once it is that I'm getting the data I must get the size with it also so here I have my size of what the size of what is the same variable here which is my buffer followed by my file pointer and then now we're going to look on how it is that we create data file and data files are integer type basically that's what we're going to look at so we're going to have our main function which is in main oh god <laughs> and my null brackets my parentheses all right so just like your text file the first thing you're going to declare is your file pointer and we said that we use file which must be in all caps followed by your asterisk the asterisk is what basically tells the system that this is a pointer and your pointer variable which is s i'm going to use lowercase because i don't want it to be upper after it is that you have declared your file pointer, you're going to move on to how is it that we open the file. So I'm going to create a next file which is for the text data here and I'm just showing you that so that we know how to create that. Um, but it's the same process there's one little change so you're going to have your file pointer which is s followed by the equal sign then you're going to have f open that is what we covered before open bracket and we have two parameters for our f open function which is the name of our file so let's have um new dot txt and this should be in quotation. Um, quotation, comma, followed by, what is it that we want to do? So if we want to open a file, then you would use W, and that would be for your text data. But because this is now, we're using this to accept integer type, we put a B behind it. So we use WB as our open mode instead. Now the B is used to basically put the file in binary mode. And we know that binary is zeros and ones, which would basically be your integer. All right, semicolon here. And then we said that you must always have your F close. And in the F close, we have our pointer and then you're going to close now your main function with return zero all right so let's compile and check for errors not seeing any all right let's run it so it's in doc all right so let's look now for new <laughs> all right so here is new that's the file that we just created All right, and it is blank because we are yet to write anything to it. All right, good. So we created our file pointer and then we opened the file and we said that we add a B, which is to change it to binary mode. Once it is that we are creating a data file. All right, moving on. So now we're going to look on how it is that we write to the file. So what we're going to use now, we're going to use or include our buffer again. So we're going to have int this time for buff um, because we're adding um, integer type and not text. So that is why the data type would have changed here. 
we have our if open which is to open the same file that we created before buffer is temporary storage use the input or output data so what you're going to do you're going to have buff is equal to a number all right so it can be any random figure there um, that depends on you after which you're going to have if right um, open bracket now your f right is going to carry four parameters so the first thing you're going to have is the ampersand sign and buff comma size of and the size of we are still using the buffer right here even though we gave it a size comma the number of variables that we want to write to the file so that's one comma followed by or pointer which is s uh, s semicolon you must have your f close so let's compile it let's check for errors all right a Oh, I should have a bracket right here. All right. All right, let's run that. We're not going to find anything in our file because it is in binary mode. Um, what does that mean? Let me show you. So let me go back to documents. So you have ever opened a, opened a file and you can't view the data because of the language that it is in so this is what will come up because it is in binary mode there however the code works there all right so now let us output the data from the file and let's see what we will get there all right so let me remove this what is going to be different is right here. So let me change this. So let's read from this file now. So we are going to change this to RB because we are reading. And then you're going to have not F right, but now you would have F read. Open bracket. You would have the basically the same thing that we had before. So you would have your buffer ampersand sign buff. What it is that we are signing to. So that's the ampersand sign buff followed by the size of function open brackets and you have the buff there, comma followed by the number of variables which is one and your file pointer. After it is that you have your F read, you're going to have your printf function. So I'm going to have printf because I want to output in the compiler this time. So I'm going to have my quotation percentage sign D. And this is to say that I'm accepting. I want to output integer, comma, followed by the variable name, which is buff in this case. And then we're going to have our F close and our file pointer, which is S. And then closing our main function, which is return zero. What did I know? Oh, this should be size. All right. Okay. So here we have the 150, which is the value that we assigned to our buffer good so even though we're not seeing it in the file itself um it is there but because it is in binary mode when you open the file you're not going to see it there all right so i hope that was helpful mm -hmm.